the Bingham Canyon Mine, Utah. When you think about deep holes dug into our planet, what do you really picture? Giant pits in the ground you can't see the bottom of? Bingham County Mine, also known as Kincott Copper Mine, is the largest copper mine in the entire world, and also one of the largest man-made excavations ever completed. It also is considered to have produced far more copper than any other mine in history. To date, this mine has extracted over 19 million tons of copper. As you can imagine, it took a pretty deep hole to get all that out of the ground. The mine itself is owned by the Rio Tinto Group, which is a British-Australian multinational. The hole is so incredibly large that it can be seen all the way from space. The mine started in 1906, making it over a hundred years old. Over the years, it has grown into a massive pit in the earth, about 75 miles deep, or 120 kilometers, two and a half miles, or four kilometers wide, and covering a total area of about three square miles. Imagine standing at the edge of this hole. In 1996, the Bingham County Mine in Utah was designated as a National Historic Landmark. But it was devastated in April of 2013 when a huge landslide pushed about 2.5 billion cubic feet of dirt down into the side of the pit. No one was injured, but a secondary landslide in September of that same year caused an excavation of roughly 100 workers. It's a dangerous job, but someone has to do it. Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory, Antarctica. Deep in the frigid wasteland of Antarctica, there sits an enormous particle detector known as the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory. From the ground, it doesn't look like much. But beneath the ice, it's a massive international observatory that is used for hunting neutrinos. Wait, what are neutrinos? Neutrinos are the massless particles that almost never come into contact with matter. As of right now, this impressively high-tech observation site is trying to solve one of the largest mysteries ever to have puzzled astronomers. They are trying to figure out the curious origin of neutrinos and cosmic rays, according to Space.com. What does this have to do with holes? Well, the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory is located near the South Pole, and the instruments used to study neutrinos extend about 5,000 feet deep into the Earth. This is the first gigaton neutrino detector ever built, and in order to build it, they had to seriously dig pretty deep into the ground. This observatory is packed full of technology, including a whole lot of science stuff that's just too hard to explain in this video, and honestly, I don't understand completely. But the basics is that deep down in the ice, the Ice Cube Observatory detects neutrinos that come from the sun and deeper in the Milky Way, and even beyond that, far outside our own galaxy. Hey, real quick, if you're new to our channel, welcome. Give this video a like and keep digging deeper. I mean, keep watching the video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for more videos like these. The door to hell, Turkmenistan. Ever wondered if there was a passage to hell on Earth? Well, we may have found it. One of the most interesting holes in the world is known as the Door to Hell, or the Gateway to Hell, and it's located in Turkmenistan. This is one of the most popular, unique tourist destinations for off-the-path travelers as you can actually visit the site of a portal into the underworld. Of course, it's really just a fiery crater in the ground, but it definitely looks like a portal to hell. It's also known as the Darvaza Gas Crater, and it's the result of a botched drilling attempt by the Soviets in 1971. They accidentally drilled into a massive cavern of natural gas, which then collapsed under the weight of all their super heavy drilling equipment. To get rid of the toxic gases leaking out of the giant hole, they decided to try to burn off the gas. However, it's been almost 50 years and the hole is still burning. Today, you can look into the enormous fiery pit and see it spitting flames as if it had only been ignited yesterday. The hole is approximately 66 feet or 20 meters deep and 235 feet or 71 meters across. It is the size of an American football field. Do you want to visit this fiery hole? Have you? Let us know in the comments. Murney Mine, Russia. It should be no surprise that one of the most mysterious and deepest mines in the world 
is located in a frozen Siberian town that sits just at the edge of the Arctic Circle. Murney Mine is approximately 280 miles or 450 kilometers from the Arctic Circle. There are only about 40,000 residents in the town, the majority of which work at the Diamond Mine. In the summertime, you can enjoy 20 hours of daylight each and every day. As for the hole in the ground, it's the fourth largest man-made pit according to interesting engineering, and the entire town was built around it just to service it. The hole is located in such a cold region that even the permafrost can reach up to 400 feet or 121 meters deep below the surface. Suffice to say, it's not the most pleasant place to live. There's some who say that the hole itself can suck helicopters right out of the sky. Of course, there's been no proof of that ever happening. Unfortunately, this enormous hole in the ground was flooded in 2017 and is currently out of service. That's a whole lot of hole to flood, considering Murney Mine is about 1,722 feet or 524 meters deep and about 3,900 feet or 1,188 meters across. It would take an entire lake to fill this mine with water, but the good news for the town is that the mine is expected to reopen in 2032 and continue pulling diamonds out of the ground. Diavik Diamond Mine, Canada. Let's talk about those big beautiful rocks buried in the earth. Russia is not the only owner of a massive diamond mine. Did you know that Canada is the fourth largest producer of diamonds? In the snowy tundra of northern Canada, the Diavik Diamond Mine is clearly as large as Murney Mine in Russia and just as cold. Old. The diamond deposits were discovered in 1994, but the mine didn't actually start producing diamonds until January of 2003. These are some of the best diamonds in the world, known for their extremely white color and perfect clarity. Because of the cut of the diamonds produced here, the Diavik mine is one of the most valuable diamond mines in the world. It's actually located in the middle of a small island in the Northwest Territories, about 136 miles or 218 kilometers from the Arctic Circle. That's dangerously close to the North Pole. And while it's only around 900 feet or 274 meters deep, it's still an impressive hole. Dean's Blue Hole, Bahamas. Dean's Blue Hole plunges beneath the surface of the water all the way down 663 feet or 202 meters. What makes Dean's Blue Hole so incredible is that it's located in an otherwise relatively shallow bay west of Clarence Town in the Bahamas. And what makes a Blue Hole so much different than just a normal drop in the ocean? Well, a Blue Hole is a sinkhole, only in the ocean which is why it fits on our list. Of course, one of the wildest and deepest blue holes is the one in Belize, only about 407 feet or 134 meters deep, but Dean's blue hole beats it in terms of sheer depth. Dean's hole is almost completely circular, with a diameter between 82 feet or 24 meters and 115 feet or 35 meters. However, after descending 66 feet or 20 meters down into the hole, it widens into a massive Massive cavern that is roughly 330 feet or 100 meters in diameter. Because the water here is so clear, you can see about 115 feet or 35 meters into the hole on a clear day. It's considered one of the most beautiful underwater caverns in the world. This is a must-visit hole for the next time you are in the Bahamas. The Berkeley Pit, Montana the Berkeley Pit in Montana was once one of the largest open pit copper mines in the world. It's still a giant hole, but it's no longer a mine. You can find the hole in Butte, and it's now filled with over 40 billion gallons of acidic water, discarded metals, and bizarre microscopic life forms. That's right. One of the most important mines during America's industrialization is now a giant pit full of slime and weird microscopic life. In fact, this is one of the only places in the entire world where you can pay money to visit a toxic waste site. But it's well worth it, as this is one of the largest holes ever made by human hands. When looking at it from a satellite, you can see it as a massive black splotch on the Earth. 
The exact measurements of the Berkeley Pit are pretty impressive. The hole is about 1,780 feet or 542 meters deep, making it over a mile long, 1.6 kilometers, and 1,000 of those feet, 304 meters, are filled with acidic water and toxic chemicals. Some of these chemicals include zinc, arsenic, and sulfuric acid. But the most interesting part is that even in this toxic soup, new fungal and bacterial species have been found living inside the impossible conditions. Before it was a sewer dump, the Berkeley Pit mined approximately 320 million tons of ore and around 700 million tons of rock. That's enough copper to pave a two-inch thick four-lane highway from Chicago to New York with a little leftover for Long Island, the Guatemala City sinkhole Guatemala. There is nowhere on Earth more overran by sinkholes than Guatemala City. Their most impressive sinkhole is about 66 feet or 20 meters wide and 100 feet or 30 meters deep and looks like the result of an alien blaster beating up the city. The hole is perfectly circular. It opened in the middle of the city following a tropical storm about a decade ago, and it's not the first one. In 2007, there were three people killed when a different 100-foot or 30-meter deep sinkhole opened in another part of Guatemala City. They had to evacuate over a thousand people from the area. In fact, Guatemala is not the only place where this happens. Sinkholes are fairly common in Texas, Alabama, Kentucky, and Florida where smaller sinkholes swallow people all the time. Guatemala City has a dramatic problem with their sewer system. Their drainage system is super outdated, and it's believed that water lines and sewer lines could have eroded underneath the ground and caused the sinkhole, which is a serious threat for the rest of the city going forward. Somebody call the plumbers. The Kimberly Diamond Mine, Africa. South Africa is often thought of as the diamond capital of the world, and it's no surprise that one of the world's largest diamond mines is located in Kimberley, South Africa. It's known as the Big Hole, and it's so large that you can see this one from space too. There were around 15 million diamonds excavated from this diamond mine since 1871. And that is pretty impressive considering excavations ended in August of 1914. That means there were about 15 million diamonds excavated in only a short span of 45 years. The hole itself is only 705 feet or 214 meters deep. But considering the technology they had back in 1871, that's an incredible feat of human engineering. The machines used back then are now rusted and will never be used again. But you can still visit this incredible diamond mine on your next trip to South Africa. The little mining town has been preserved for adventurous tourists and visitors, and a museum has been built nearby the big hole. The Kola Superdeep Borehole, Russia. Drum roll, please. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. The deepest man-made hole ever dug is known as the Kola Superdeep Borehole and is located in Russia, deep in the Arctic Circle. The hole was excavated back during the Cold War when the United States and the USSR were competing to go the farthest and dig the deepest. And according to some locals, this super borehole is actually the entrance to hell. It's strange that the deepest man-made hole on Earth is currently located in the center of a derelict building and covered by a metal lid with rusty bolts. It looks like something you would see in a scary movie. People even say that you can hear the screams of tormented souls whistling up out of the hole. So, how deep of a hole do you need to reach hell? Well, this one is approximately 40,230 feet or 12,262 meters deep. It took the Soviets nearly 20 years to drill that far, and they still only got about a third of the way through the Earth's crust. With all the nonsense and anarchy going on as the Soviet Union collapsed, there were no more reasons to keep drilling pointlessly into the Earth. Thanks for watching. Which of these holes is the most impressive? Tell me in the comments below and thank you for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon for another great video.